Man, has it been forever. Two weeks since I've been back to RCC. I'm just getting back from a camping trip. Went camping with my good buddy, Grill Man. And then, dude, I played a farming tournament. We had a lot of stuff going on, but man, two weeks since we've been back to RCC. Oh my gosh. Maybe it was like a week and a half or so. Wow. So I hired just a, like a sweet little high school kid to take over the place. And he's been updating me how things have been going. Billy Bob Joe, I just hired him, little, little sweet little high school kid. And he was like, dude, I'll take over this place. I was like, I want you to sell some stuff. He's like, I can sell, man. I can sell, trust me. And holy crap, dude, he's like a dog. He just sick the customers. He gave him a good deal, but man, we cleared some inventory off of here. I left with like $600,000. Now we're at $2.2 million. Holy crap, dude. The kid cleared the place out. Well, I mean, he probably gave them prices for trucks a lot cheaper than I would have. Man, it's like a clean around here. Billy Bob Joe, congratulations, man. Holy crap. Even added a fuel barrel. Nice. A lot of the trailers are cleared out. We got our money, though. That's the thing. He showed me. He was, he was updating me and texting me, like, what's all been going on. So, wow. But... I've been, uh, we got plans with RCC guys. We have, well, we're going to develop plans with RCC because I want to, I, I want to build a new shop somewhere. I need to get Stevie Sims to help me build a new shop because that dude can design a farm and I bet you he could design a dealership like crazy. If you haven't, go check out Squad Farms. It's insane what that guy can do. Like he literally, here, I'll, I'll even link a video to his newest video where he built a farm. It's crazy what he can build and like how creative he is. If you guys want, go check that out down below. So I told him to clear the inventory. Billy Bob Joe, he cleared it off nice. Uh, some of the classic cars I told him to leave, he left a lot of these. But all, everything else he sold, dude. A lot of our big trucks, the Dodge L, Fordzilla, those are all gone. He sold those. He said those were the, some of the easiest to sell. But I told him, don't touch the Power Sports store, dude. I don't want you selling this stuff. So everything is in here yet. Everything's clean. It's all in here. He didn't sell any toys. Uh, there was a couple customers that won some. I was like, nope, we're not selling them yet. So he didn't, luckily he didn't sell those. So the plan for today is to pick up some more inventory, some new inventory that I think will sell good. We're going to run through a lot of new trucks that came out, new mods that came out, design them, and then bring them back here and place them around here. Uh, but then next couple of videos, I hope to build a new shop sometime. Give me ideas too. Feel free to throw out ideas like what I should have on my dealership. Hope to start a brand new map and build a new shop. Because this one, uh, this is my second shop and I, I love it and stuff. But it's fun to switch things up. By the way, guys, if you're looking for a gaming PC, consider checking out Apex Gaming PCs. I, can't, I partnered with them. We literally built a squad PC. It's a beginner PC. Um, we did have a 20% discount on it. Now it's only 10% discount. Basically, it's priced at $750 and you can use code squad for 10% off. But my discount code can be used like through the entire site. So if you want to buy a different PC on the site, you can still get 10% off using code squad. If you guys want, go check them out. I got a 10% off discount code. Okay, enough talking. Let's get building. So I'm going to head over to the shop. We're going to customize some trucks. I want to get the F250 XLT in here. So this is my personal truck. It doesn't have the tow suspension, so it squats, which is cool. Because I want this baby squatting. I want to drop it, dude, all the way to the ground. I want to put something heavy behind it, like real heavy behind it. That'd be pretty cool. Um, but dang, that truck looks nice. Got the squad license plate. I should have the squad logo inside. This was made by Expendables. It is public. Um, okay, so we're going to design some trucks. Okay, first of all, these trucks all came from Expendables. At the time I was gone, and I haven't made a video on RCC for like a week, week and a half, all these trucks got released. This one, I bought the model and had David build and stuff. I knew this was coming forever, but these I did not know was coming. So... I, okay, I'm going to start with the Ford to build out a Ford truck to have on RCC to eventually sell. Now, I'm going to run you guys through all my ideas. I think it's kind of fun. Let me know if it isn't kind of fun building out trucks. I think it's really, it's re something neat about just putting all the options and adding to it. I have a different style than you guys. I'm a big chrome guy, but we're going to go black with this truck, dude. Heck yeah, we're going to black this baby out. So, uh, okay. Wait, no. I want to build, I kind of built this build already, but... How about we go, that's not, a, that's not, it's kind of pearl white. That's almost, okay, pearl white or white. Okay, we'll go white for now. Black rims. I, I think jet black is too black, almost. So, trust me, everything, I, I can get everything looking good. But we'll go a um yeah, color matching bumper, front bumper and back bump, bumper. I'll show you guys. Oh, wait, uh, design color. Okay, we got to go white with that. 
there we go now it should there we go so we got the white bumper now okay attachments we are gonna want a hitch of course i'm gonna hit i'm gonna put the bumper in the back and then we'll put uh adjustable hitch perfect or we'll put the we'll put the bumper pull adjustable and then gooseneck i think it's a little bit adjustable too um tuner yes let's put a tuner on her now wheels i need wheels bad <laughs> okay vf goodrich does look pretty sweet that doesn't i don't know i'm not i'm not down for this off-road look like it's pretty much like they took all the rim out of it i i just i just can't with that dude it'd be better I, the tires fantastic but the rims are just horrible on this i think we got to go bf goodrich why it'd be cool if we got some wide ones put a little lift on this there's no option for that right now maybe in the future i think that looks pretty good um i'm trying to think how about on this build let's go no steps at all no fold-up steps nothing so if you go down here i can just take them off oh yeah dude it needs a little lift i know what you guys are thinking she needs just a tad bit of lift um toe tune or stock i dude i love stock and we can always change this out or not toe tune but suspension setup so um let me go oh here it is it's under wheel brand it's kind of weird but here's towing and then here's stock now i gotta change back the wheels for some reason but i'm gonna go stock setup so that way the suspension is just a little softer and then BF Goodrich. Oh, yeah. There we go. Nice. That looks, I think that's perfect right now. I'll build out another, I'm trying to think of another build I could do. I love the black and white, white and black, like theme with rims, tires, body. Love it. We could, I kind of want to go an all black one. I really want to. I think these will sell like crazy, dude. Um, so I'm going to go, you go, the thing is, you go jet black? Let's, let's try jet black. Okay, so here's what we're working with now. Not bad, not bad. I don't know if it's, yeah, let's go that black. Does that black match the bumper black? I think they're the same. Okay, they should be the same. Let's go towing on this. So I'll put towing setup so the, the rear end's gonna be a lot more beefier on it. BF Goodrich, yes, I think those are the best tires out of all three that you can get. Uh, Yes, definitely color coded. I don't think, I don't like this little deflector in the front. I just think it makes trucks not look as good. Uh. Attachments. Okay, first of all, rim color. No, we can't go like. Yeah, that looks pretty good. Yeah, okay, that does look pretty good. Jet. It's either jet or onyx. I think I'm pronouncing it right. Onyx. We'll go onyx. I think jet's just always a little too dark. Um, adjustable hitch. Fixed gooseneck. Adjustable hitch and gooseneck. Perfect. Uh, we'll put a tune on it. Oh wait, decals. Oh, I didn't. I don't think I put decals on the other one. Oh man, I really, I, I can go back and do that. FX4 and then license plate. So I should be able to go the squad FX4. If I can do this correctly. There we go. Okay, squad both FX4. And then, no. Let's get rid of, yeah, there we go. No side steps on this baby. Yeah. Uh, okay, perfect. This baby is ready for off-road and nice. See, the other white truck we built was an off-road truck, and I should have put the FX4 off-road. It's not true off-road truck if you don't have a FX4. Okay, so I know Chevy fans are going to be like, dude, I wouldn't even get one because I don't care about Fords. But if you had to decide between these two, like somebody held a gun up to your head and was like, you got to choose two. This would be tough. Uh, okay, it's not that tough. For me, personally, I'd definitely go white. I think white looks a lot better here. White with black rims. Oh. That looks good. <laughs> I like that. And I like the white lettering on the outside of the rims. Some people hate that. That actually looks pretty darn good on that. I don't know. I, I'm not really digging the black as much. The white looks clean over there. It'd be nice if I could get rid of this chrome and put white, white chrome handles and stuff. Or like even white caps right here. Okay, so now we're going to work on building the Kelmans. The second gen Kelmans. And I'm going to move all this stuff over there and set it up so it looks nice on RCC. But we'll probably be moving these trucks soon here um, to the new dealership. Okay, so here is, I should be able to build this out. Now I know a lot, of, okay, I'm definitely going dually, just uh, regular cab. It's gonna look so good. Yes, tow mirrors out for sure. Um, I don't, I'm not really digging this sport as much. We'll do the sport for an off-road truck. I just want this to be a mean, regular, uh, regular cab dually here. Tow tune, tools. Okay, maybe the sport does look a lot better. The sport looks pretty sweet. I kind of want this to be like kind of farm truck with kind of the chrome front end, but man, the Ford, the sport, 
actually looks really clean. Um, let me see what all colors I could go with this. I could go all black. Oh, the gray looks pretty darn good. The black is pretty darn... Uh, that's not bad, dude. That looks kind of cool. I wish I could get those rims a little darker. That's not bad. I kind of like that look. Um, let's... Dude, the orange looks pretty sick. You guys gotta admit, this orange looks pretty sick on this. I know people are gonna be like, dude, you ruined it with the orange. But, that looks pretty cool on this truck. I think we gotta go with this orange. The light, I don't know, something about the light shining on it right now looks really good. I'm just making sure I'm not missing any. Yeah, we'll put like a little toolbox in the back. Yeah, let's go this orange. Or this, almost like a goldish. Or that looks pretty darn good too. It's kind of like a grayish. Man, there's a lot of good. Darn, dude. Those look good. I don't know. I think I gotta go something a little. Let's go this. Let's go this gray, grayish color. I like that. I like that. Even though it's kind of, it's kind of blah. But okay. So here's an extended cab. Now I could put. I'm. I'm gonna keep this one as single rear wheel. We could probably go dually. Yes, we can. Of course. Okay. Eventually we'll get a flatbed truck. For now, I'm gonna keep this long bed, extended cab. Um. Yes. Tow mirrors. I don't know if we should go. The sport does look really cool, dude. So maybe we could go sport. The sport does look pretty sick. Okay. This one's going to get built out. Um, let's see what we could get for tires. Is there any tire design option? Wheel setup. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so the BF Goodrich does look pretty darn good. The mud terrain looks... It's either BF Goodrich... The BF Goodrich looks really beefy, man. Or the mud terrain. We'll, we'll see what one. Man, dude, that looks clean with the white on there. Okay, so tires, though. I don't know. Or I could go black. Did I go? I mean, I've basically been... I, I need to go some more different color, I guess. But nothing really looks good besides, like, a white and black build. I don't know. Maybe I'm just playing. I just don't see things through like you guys do. Man, that looks pretty darn good, too. I love that color. Okay, we need to... I don't know if it's today or some other day, but I need to build... Oh, okay. Yes, yes. We're doing that. Okay, we're doing that color. Let me get the color down so I know it's a hardy. I kind of, I'm kind of digging that color. Or maroon or hardy, dude. That looks nice. Um, darn, dude. I I don't know. This has got like a little more. I, I'm thinking the hardy. I don't know how it's gonna look out in the light though. The hardy does look. Mm, maybe the maroon. Let's go maroon on this truck. I think once you get out in some light, it'll shine a little more. Let's go maroon. Okay, so I know my shop is like crazy back here, but I'm gonna connect to this. Now this is the one, I didn't put uh, good suspension on this, or it's gonna be soft suspension, it's not towing suspension. So it's gonna squat like crazy, and I'm excited for that. <laughs> so I'm gonna fold up this dude, okay. Um, what am I gonna put on this? It might be kind of tough to fit two trucks, but we're gonna do it anyways. Uh, where's my other Cummins at? Oh, I think my other Cummins is up front. So both of the Cummins are gonna get hold on this. I really shouldn't be doing this, but I'm really excited to do this, so we're gonna do it. And it's a video game, dude. Probably should do it in a video game before we try it in real life or something stupid like that. So, the Cummins is pretty short, or this one's pretty short, I guess. Um, the other one's kind of lengthy. Hopefully both of these will be able to fit on here. This, this should be looking pretty sick. I mean, really, I should be definitely hauling with this. Ah, oh, dude. Okay. I really want to haul the... We might do a tow test with this, but I'll put a lot more weight on it, guys. Yeah. For now, I'm going to haul with the F-250, though. Oh, yeah, dude. She's gone. <laughs> Holy crap. Okay. We got the dually. This is a heavy truck, too. Okay. Right in the front. Now I'm going to try to load. It's going to be kind of tough. And I'm probably going to have to edit out when I load it up. But I'm going to try to load up the uh, the other Cummins back here on the same trailer. Fit them both on. That looks kind of good. I'm not a, too big a fan of the mud tires. or the BF Goodrich. But that looks pretty darn good. I'm kind of happy with the color I went with too. Because we've pretty much been doing black and white. I like switching it up a little bit. Okay, these puppies are loaded down, dude. <laughs> Oh my gosh, I really, we should definitely be using the daily to tow with this, but for now, the only little mistake, and I don't mean to be that guy that points out mistakes, because he's all made by Expendables, could, couldn't even build a piece of grass for a mod, dude, but uh, seriously, the uh, 
the only thing is this should be 3500 that's the only thing because i don't think they i'm i'm like 99.99 percent sure they don't make a 2500 with dually unless you like make it your own or you customize it okay here we go dude we're gonna load down let's get those tail mirrors extended oh man this is fun okay um tail mirrors there we go tail mirrors should be extended holy crap these go forever bring them in a little bit oh nope there we go i think we're good right there nice Oh, dude, the attire is probably going, oh my gosh, dude, this is kind of funny, though. It's always cool seeing him squat, dude. Okay, the trailer's about to scrape the ground. <laughs> Holy crap, if we would have used a tow tune, truck would have handled it just fine. But And I know this might be like kind of unrealistic, guys. I apologize, but man, you got to admit, this is kind of cool. Dude, oh my gosh. Now, I saw a guy on Facebook that put hold a wheel loader, and he had the standard suspension set up, and I think the bumper of this truck was probably touching the ground. Like, I need to put, I want. I really want to test it out and put something heavier. So far, it pulls it good. The only thing is, it's squatting like crazy. <laughs> it's like really funny. Just watching it, this is pretty sweet. Cummins look good on there. I like the Sport. I actually, at first, I didn't like the Sport. Didn't think it was gonna work out good. But man, the sport's pretty cool. Okay, we got a right turn here. <laughs> there we go, man. Holy crap. Ooh. He's towing her. I really want to actually put the Cummins on here. That'd be cool. Let's see how the Cummins toes. Okay, we made it. So I got to pull in, pull around my camper here. Oh my gosh, look at that suspension on that thing. It's just going through the body. Okay, and then I just got to unload. And then I don't know exactly where we're going to put these trucks yet. But actually, something I thought of is I might run back to the dealership with the uh, with the uh, Dodge Cummins Dually, dude. And I'm, I'm probably going to tow the other Ford back. And I, I really want to tow with this. Just see how it works out. Okay, so I'm going to unload both of these off of here. Dodge is coming off first. Oh, this could be a good mud truck. I can't wait until we get mud and farm sim. Eventually, it'll come, guys. It always comes, eventually. Just gotta wait. There we go. Okay, so right for now, Cummins is going out front there. And then we gotta get the uh, dually off. And I think I'm gonna head straight back, pick up the other trailer, and pick up that black F-250 with this dually. Okay, we're heading back. The interior's pretty clean on this. They did a good job on the interior, too. Nice. I mean, a lot of mods usually people don't even like completely finish the interior. This is pretty cool. So we gotta head back over to the dealership. I'll see you guys. Oh shoot! I'll see you guys once we get there. Okay, here we are. Now I have a lot of trailers. This is just basically a lot of random junk. Just so you guys know, or not? It's not junk, but a lot of random stuff I bought and like used for maybe a role play, and I just for, I just haven't sold yet. But that's all this is. This is just like all trailers. I, I don't know why I bought all these color coaches. Maybe that's Billy Bob Joe who ordered them or something. Ah. I don't know. We have a lot of stuff sitting out there, though. So, I think we bought a black gooseneck, and maybe it's... It might be back here, or maybe I didn't... I don't think I bought it yet, and I'm going to use to haul the black F-250 on. Okay, let's get her loaded up. So far, Dodge isn't even squatting much, but I'm going to put the F-250... Dude, I kind of want to bring this overkill back, but I'm not really digging the color as much. Huh, I wonder if there's anything else we should probably bring... I could probably bring this little trailer back. That'd be kind of good to have around. So I'll, I'll probably bring that back too. The easiest way to do this is just to attach this little trailer here and then load it on there and it, hopefully the ramps will clear it. I think we'll be good on length because that's a 35 foot plus a 5 foot. I think they call them beaver tail or just tail end on it. So it's a 40 foot trailer. Yeah, okay, here we go. There we go. The only unfortunate thing is we got to put this truck all the way up on here. Okay, so the trailer didn't work out like I wanted. It was going to fall off most of the time. So I just went with the truck for now. So it should be fairly easy for the Cummins. Actually, let's scooch it up and just see if it squats even. I don't even know if this will. It doesn't, dude, it doesn't even squat much. That's the thing, the F-250s, depending if they have tow or, st or, or the stock suspension, they'll squat a lot. He's hauling all right, dude. 5.9, 12 valve Cummins, man. This thing pulls. Man, those tow mirrors actually look re work really well. They're placed perfectly. Where you can see your truck behind there okay i'm gonna take a right hand turn we'll get into the shop and then i kind of want to i don't know if i'll have a 
it'd be kind of cool to have a Ford section, Chevy section, uh, you know, Dodge section, and then Dodge slash Ram section, and then maybe like a Toyota or Nissan section. It'd be kind of cool to organize like that. I don't think we'll do it this episode, but it'd be it'd be kind of neat to like start organizing a little better. Maybe that'll come with our newer uh, our newer uh, once we move shops. Here we are, dude. Okay, so I'm gonna back up, unfold the ramps right there. We'll pull the F two fifty off. Uh, let me jump in her. There we go. That looks nice. Okay, uh, I gotta figure out like what I'm gonna do to organize this. Like I said, guys, for now we don't have any room anymore. Okay, for now, I should start naming these two. All blacked out ones. Usually we have a good name for them. There we go. For now, let's go in there. Let me shut off the lights. There we go. Okay. Um, also, I was moving these with the F100 or F150. The F100. I'm not too good on my old trucks at all. But if you guys remembered, we had a, a, a gooseneck trailer here. And it was all loaded up with like uh, with a, a forklift. And then it was loaded up with like pallets and stuff of, of seed. Just to kind of show what the, the Chevy, the 2020 Chevy, which we ended up selling, could haul. Um, but I ended up getting rid of the trailer, or Billy Bob Joe ended up selling the trailer and the truck, and so we're left with these pallets, so I was just moving them back, which is kind of interesting <laughs> with this old flatbed. Kind of cool with all the straps and stuff there. I don't know where to put these, so for now, I'm just gonna, I'd like to go off run with this thing and these on the back. For now, I'm just gonna put these back here. There we go. Nice. Dude, I can't wait. Okay, we don't have much for trailers or campers. Everything's kind of cleaned up. I like what Billy Bob Joe did, but um, I kind of want to make a new shop. Hopefully, eventually, we make a new shop, guys. This is going to be the end. If you're looking for a gaming PC to run run farm sim, consider, consider checking out the squad PC or maybe some of the other PCs. The more Honestly, the more you spend, basically, the better you're going to be able to play the game. Um, like here... I have so many mods right now. You can see my FPS right now. It's depending on what mod you look at. We have like, we did have a crazy amount of mods. Now we don't have as many. But you can see I'm not even running at 60 frames per second. I got a 1080 graphics card. Not 1080 Ti, but uh, NVIDIA 1080. And you can see it's struggling a little bit too. So um, just, it, it depends on how good your PC is and, and what mods you're pretty much using. Like I have a ton of mods through here and they're all clumped in one space. Like if you're farming, you don't need as much power for your PC. Like you don't need as big a graphics card or as big a processor. Here, when I have all my mods like clumped in one space, it's loading a ton of like highly detailed mods. And so it's really like even my graphics card's somewhat struggling. But I'm going to have like a review or I'm going to have a testing to show you guys how the squad PC handles. I'll record in medium and high settings. Be on the lookout for that so you guys can kind of see how it performs and how 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 farm symbol will run even before you buy the pc so anyways guys thanks for watching hey i'll see you guys later seriously guys thanks